Wilko Zielenberg, team manager of the Fiat Yamaha team. What are you expecting from your new job as Jorge's team manager? Uh, it's a long time ago that I've been working uh, in the GP paddock and uh, it will be uh, a long, demanding and exciting season. And yeah, to be able to work with the youngest, uh, talent, best talented young MotoGP rider, it's like, like a dream come true. What are you doing to become familiar with the new bike and MotoGP in general? What are the major differences you'll now have to get used to? In my function as a team manager, I have, I sh have, I need to know uh, Jorge very well, and so I'm reading his book, and uh, first of all, and uh, secondly, I'm reading the new rule book for 2010 to be exactly aware from the difference between Supersport and MotoGP. I need to know the rules. When did you first meet Jorge, and what were your impressions? I met him a couple of weeks ago for the first time, and he's a very young intelligent and yeah, experienced rider. And the uh, first thing I noticed that we don't have to motivate him. What do you think Jorge can achieve this year? Well, Jorge is this in his third year of MotoGP. Again, he learned a lot last year and less mistakes and uh, he will uh, try to be better than last year. And last year he finished second, so his goal for sure is the championship. Do you plan to slot into the existing team set up or will you introduce new working practices? Uh, first of all, I, I need to commit with the guys uh, to be able to see how they work and uh, I'm experienced enough to see uh, if that's necessary or not and I don't expect that it's necessary. Did you ever get to ride a MotoGP bike in your capacity as Yamaha test rider? How easy or difficult was it? Yes, Lynn gave me the opportunity in 2003, the year before Valentino came actually. And uh, I have been riding five laps in, in Val Valencia. And uh, yeah, that was very difficult. I was yeah, not able to open the throttle actually. It was more working to, to close the throttle instead of opening it. So it was very difficult. What does your riding and racing background mean you can bring to Jorge's side of the garage? Well, it's, I think, very important to know exactly what is going to happen in a couple of hours or the, the whole weekend. And um, to, to learn those expectations, you need to have experience. And um, that can already change the situation from losing or winning. And um, so it, it's difficult to say precise what it is, but uh, yeah, to be aware of what's going to happen, that's already uh, very important. How familiar are you with all the tracks on the MotoGP circuit? I've raced myself uh, on 11 of those tracks, and uh, six of them uh, I've uh, never been. Uh, actually, I've been but not raced myself, and one of them nobody has been, so uh, yeah, I'm quite familiar with the whole series. Give us an idea of how much more complicated the MotoGP bike is compared to the World Supersport machine you were working with last year. Yeah, the M1 is built for racing and uh, that's a big point after that. And uh, our Supersport bike from last year was a good bike, but it's a production-based bike and we have to create a race bike out of it. And that, that makes a huge difference. You last raced in Grand Prix in 1995. How has the championship changed? I think it's a big change uh, over the years and um, especially when you look to electronics and uh, on the other side uh, they stop with the uh, GP250 and I raced 250 in, in the 90s and they stop with it so it's a big change.